I have many legal immigrants working with me. Many of them come from Mexico. They love me, I love them. And I'll tell you something, if I get the nomination, I'll win the Latino vote. I will win it. Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump in that back and forth interview with NBC News a couple of days ago insisting he is popular with Latinos despite the comments he made about illegal aliens from Mexico. Yeah, those comments reportedly led to a phone call from GOP party leader Reince Priebus asking Trump to quote, tone it down, but is there more to that conversation? For more on the story, we're pleased to be joined by political commentator Michael Reagan. You can always follow Michael on Twitter at Reagan World. A lot going on with the Trump story. Michael, you pinned a new column. We're going to get to that in just a couple of minutes. But first, a new poll just released showing Donald Trump leading nationally. This one from The Economist slash YouGov. It says that Donald Trump is four points ahead of Jeb Bush and Rand Paul. Your take on that latest poll? Yeah, because Donald Trump is not playing politics. He is talking about issues that America is really, you know, thinking about and living, if you will. And everybody else is playing the political game at the same time. Or, as I say in my op-ed piece, you're going to get to. Uh, they're talking about Donald Trump, but Donald Trump's talking about issues. Michael, let's go back to that reported phone call that we were talking about earlier. Mr. Trump tweeted about that conversation with Priebus. Uh, this is what he said, totally false on my call with Reince Priebus. He called me 10 minutes, said I hit a nerve, doing well, end. Trump reportedly told the New York Times then that Priebus called to congratulate him, then told him, quote, if you could tone it down, I know that's tough, but if you could tone it down, that wouldn't be bad. Uh, your reaction, it seems like a lot of back and forth. Uh, just want to get your thoughts. I mean, why are either one of them talking about this? I mean, again, it, it, it takes away from the issues of the day. You know, what's going on in the world that we live in? And so you have people talking about these phone calls. I think it's sometimes we have just too much media and people think they need to find a microphone so they can hear themselves speak or see themselves, you know, on television. I mean, Reince Priebus didn't need to make the call. Uh, you know, we don't need Donald Trump talking about the call. Gets him off message and gets the Republican Party off message at the same time. Michael, the Weekly Standard magazine published an article that featured bumper stickers from presidential campaigns past and present. The first one, uh, you'll know pretty well, it's from your dad. And on it is the tagline from his successful campaign in 1980, which reads, let's make America great again. The bottom one from Donald Trump. And he's modified the slogan a little bit, make America great again. Is he emulating your father? Well, that's not a bad thing either. As long as he doesn't show up in a cowboy hat and a poster, I guess we're okay <laughs> at the same time. So, I mean, you've got all the candidates. We'll talk about Ronald Reagan. If I had a penny for every time they mention my dad's name on the campaign trail, my, my goodness gracious, I own this television station. Uh, everybody's used my father because he's that last great person that they can, in fact, attach themselves to that really did lead America into greatness. It's not wrong for Donald Trump to to play off of that with his own bumper sticker while everybody else talks about my father in their own vein. Well, let's talk about your latest article. You say Donald Trump, with his stance on immigration, has already won the first Republican presidential debate of the 2016 primary. Absolutely right. If that had been a debate, he won it. He talked about immigration. And what happened? The dominant media, the mainstream media, went out there and started attacking Donald Trump. And how they do that? They went to Republicans who are running for office and asked them not what they thought about immigration, but what they thought about Donald Trump. And so you have these politicians listening to their consultants saying, dump on Trump, you know, dump on Trump. And so they were dumping on Trump while Trump was actually talking about the issue of the day. So if you're going to measure debates by content, then you have to talk about Donald Trump won the first debate, the first salvo of the presidential campaign for the nomination of the party. You have these other candidates getting caught up in the day and in the mainstream media that they always rail against actually answering the question about Donald Trump instead of telling the media to talk about immigration. So one up for Trump. 
You know, Michael, we talked earlier, and it seemed to be when you looked at this race on paper, it would be Jeb Bush from the establishment and a whole bunch of conservatives possibly diluting the conservative vote and making the way for Jeb or somebody else from the establishment. About a minute and a half remains. Donald Trump, he has basically taken that premise, and at least early on, it appears that that has been ripped to shreds. Now everybody is answering and attacking and trying to deal with Donald Trump. Well, the reality is Donald Trump's taking from the conservative side, not so much the establishment side of the party, hence the phone call from Reince Priebus to, to Donald Trump. Uh, you, the reason you know, that Jeb Bush does as well and raises the amount of money he's been able to raise is because he actually splits the vote with no one, while conservatives are going to split the votes with, what, 10, 11, or 12 candidates? They're, going to, they're on the way to make the same mistake in 2016 they made in 2012 and 2008. You know, the conservatives need to find the horse and ride the horse that they want to get the nomination from, but they don't seem to be able to do that. So it's going to be interesting to see how it all plays out. Donald Trump is the odd guy out here, and you got to watch Donald Trump because he will say what he wants to say when he wants to say it without worrying about political correctness. And right now that seems to be something that is appealing to a lot of conservatives, a lot of Republicans, and a lot of Americans. Michael Reagan, we thank you for Skyping in from Los Angeles and joining us here tonight on Newsmax Prime. Uh, talking about Trump, as we just saw, mm -hmm. he continues to rise in the polls, but can he, in fact, win the Republican nomination? Let us know what you think by voting for your choice as the GOP's 2016 nominee, here is how you do it. You go to this site, NewsmaxPolls.com. That's NewsmaxPolls.com. And we'll be right back.